Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using animations in CSS. Now, CSS animations allow you to animate certain HTML elements on your website, and you can use CSS properties to do that animation. So a good example would be like, I could animate this div over here to being a different color, or I could move it around the screen, or I could have it like do flips and twists and turns. You can do animations to do almost anything with your CSS attributes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use some of those animations in CSS. Now right here, I just have a sort of pink div over here, and then I have this dot box animation class. And this class is hooked up to this div. So if I was to give this like a border, um, you'll see that the border is gonna show up over here, right? So these are connected. So anything I put in here, any styling is gonna show up in this div. Now the way I can create an animation in CSS is I can just come up here and I'm just gonna type in at keyframes. And once I type at keyframes, I this is gonna be like our animation. So we're gonna define like a distinct animation inside of this little keyframe. And I can give this a name. So I'm just gonna call this change color because I'm gonna write an animation that will change the color of our div down there. So now inside of here, inside of this change color tags, I can put the animation that I want to use. And we can actually use two little tags here. We can say from and open and close curly brackets. And then we can say to and open and close curly brackets. And what we want to do is specify what we want to go from to what we want to go to. So right now I have the background color of this div set to be salmon. So it's currently colored salmon. And let's say that I want it to animate into being colored a different color. So maybe we can use like light blue or something. So now what this animation is saying is that we want to animate um, the background color from salmon to light blue. So down here in my box animation class, I can actually use this animation. So I can specify down here something called animation name and the animation name I can just give that animation that we just made. So it was called change color. And then I can also specify an animation duration. So I can say animation duration, and we can give this like a second value. So I can say like four seconds, right? And so now what this is saying is it's gonna take four seconds for this change color animation to take place. In other words, it's gonna take four seconds for this div to go from salmon to light blue. So I can come over here and just refresh this page and you'll see that this div is gonna change from salmon to light blue. So let's watch it again. It starts changing color and it turns to blue and then once it's done with this animation, it goes right back to its original state. So this animation will run whenever I refresh this browser. So when I refresh the browser, the animation runs. Once it's done, it just goes back to the way it was before. In addition to specifying animation duration, I can also specify um, a couple other things. So I can specify something down here called animation iteration count. And I can give this a couple different values. Uh, I can give this one is a value of infinite. And if I give this a value of infinite, then it's just gonna run forever. So it'll continually keep doing that animation um, forever. I can also give this uh, just a numerical value. So I could say three, and now this will run that animation three times. And so let's make this two seconds now, so it's a little quicker. And when I refresh the page, you'll see that this animation is gonna run through three full times, and then it'll stop and everything will go back to normal. Or if I choose infinite, it'll just run forever. So why don't we make this like one second? And you could just leave this going and it would just constantly keep animating itself. And so that's sort of a basic animation. And I want to show you guys some other cool things that you can do with this. So instead of just doing from and to, we can also specify like more complex animations. So if I wanted more things to happen, I can, instead of using from and to, I can use percentages. So over here I can say 0%. And this will specify what happens 0% when I'm done with 0% of the animation. So at the offset of the animation, I want the background color to be uh, salmon. And I can also specify like other percentages. So I could say like, okay, 10% through the animation, I want the background color to be 
um, orange, right? So maybe we can like have this uh, spit out like the rainbow. So we can say red, orange, and then maybe 20% through this can be yellow. And we can basically just keep going for all these different colors. So I'm specifying that at different intervals throughout this animation, we want different things to happen. So I can specify all of these different percentage intervals and it'll basically like run the animation um, and run these different values at each stage. So yeah, maybe we can say like 15, 30, and we could just have it as purple. So now when I run this animation, and I'm actually gonna make this like two seconds, um, it's gonna go through all of these different steps. So, so you can see that it's flashing out the rainbow here and it's doing it two times. So it's just sort of flashing out all those colors at different durations during the animation. In addition to defining background color, I can also define other attributes. So let's make this box animation, um, let's make it a relative position and then I'm gonna change like where it's located. So I'm actually gonna like animate it across the screen. So let's say at 15%, we want to make the top of it be 10 pixels down and we can make the bottom be 10 pixels down as well. Or we can make the left be 10 pixels down as well. And then we can do something similar like further down the animation. So we can just keep moving it down as we go. So I'm defining where I want this thing to be at each step of this animation. And you can see like the top value keeps increasing and so does the left value. So this thing should just like move down the screen. And you can see that's exactly what it does. So it's moving down the screen and it's also changing the background color. So you can get as complex with these and you can actually include any CSS attributes that you want inside of these little tags. It doesn't really matter. Um, you're only limited to what CSS has to offer. I could also specify something like an animation delay. So over here I can say animation delay and this will actually delay the animation for like a number of seconds. So I could say two seconds and now when I refresh my page, it's gonna take two seconds for this animation to load up. So one, two, and then the animation starts running. And what's cool is you can use like CSS selectors inside of these animations. So this is just like a normal class. So I, if I wanted this to uh, run when you hover over the object, I could just use hover. And now this animation will start, I'm actually gonna get rid of the animation delay. This animation will start when you hover over this item. So only when I hover over it like this, will it actually start to animate itself. So you can use those different CSS selectors in combination with like, for example, this class declaration in order to run these animations when certain things happen like a hover event. So that's sort of the basics of using animations. Obviously, you know, these can get really complex and if I wanted, I could, you know, for example, copy this and I could create another animation down here with it like change color two. And then if I wanted to use this animation, all I'd have to do is just change the animation name over here to change color two and it would run that other animation. So you can kind of play around with creating your own little animations and then use them inside of your CSS files. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.